morning. It's Saturday, April 9th. This morning I want to talk about the Parental Rights in Education Bill that was signed into law in Florida. And this rule, this bill, goes under the name of Don't Say Gay. That is the nickname for this, in my mind, atrocious bill. Now this bill has come under fire by Democrats, by Hollywood celebrities, by President Joe Biden. It's mentioned in newscasts all over the world. So in the text of this bill, it's an attempt to reinforce the fundamental rights of parents to make decisions regarding the upbringing and control of their children. I don't argue with that sentence. I argue with it that it is not the place for parents to interfere in the school system. Upbringing and control of their children is something they are responsible for at home. Outsiders are not responsible for that particular set of criteria. So I'm against this. I'm against allowing parents to meddle in the educational systems in schools around the country. Parents, most parents, are not qualified to meddle in the business of education. So this law prohibits schools from enacting policies that prevent the disclosure to parents of critical decisions affecting a student's mental, emotional, or physical health or well-being. I don't know what all of that really, really means. Schools could withhold certain information if they believe that the disclosure would result in abuse, neglect, or abandonment. Are they saying that if a teacher writes a note home to the child's parents, that the teacher is now responsible for the actions of the parents? If you get a note sent down because you were bullying somebody in school, or you were misbehaving in class, or you or the teacher reached a point where you're having a problem and they write a note home, is that a bad thing? Is it a bad thing to have parents' nights and 25% of the parents show up and 75% of the parents don't? Do we need laws to regulate that? I think not. But this bill is aimed at sex education as much as anything else. I say that because a key provision of this bill prohibits classroom instruction by school personnel or third parties on sexual orientation or gender identity in kindergarten through the third grade. And they could prohibit the teaching of those topics in higher grades too if they feel it's appropriate. Now I don't know what is age appropriate when you're talking about the sexual orientation of your children. I've heard stories that children as young as five or six have decided that they'd rather be a boy or a girl. And I'm not sure that really indicates that this child will grow up to be transgender. One never knows what goes through the minds of children at that age. Maybe they watch something and they feel that they're being discriminated against because they're a boy or a girl. For instance, supposing there's a young girl that wants to play ball, that wants to be in very athletic competitions, and she decides in her mind that it would be better to be a boy if she could play those, because she could play those games. Because jump rope and potsy is not what she wants to do. And the same thing can hold true for a boy. There's some things that he wants to do, but he won't do it because girls only do that. Who knows what goes through the minds of five and six and seven year olds, and maybe even younger than that. But to have a bill that deals with that and is specifically against the LGBTQ community, there's something wrong with that. That's a form of discrimination. Now, I'm not in favor of these transgenders who are allowed to compete against other people of the other sex. I've ranted about that before. I'm not getting into that part of this situation right now. Now, this bill is going to go into effect on July 1st. And it requires schools to notify parents of any health care services being offered to children and give them the opportunity for families to opt 
out of those health care services. And I think that's ridiculous. I think if there's a health care service that's being administered by the school, the parents have a right to know about it, but they don't have the right to opt out. And then they want the parents to give permission before administering any well-being questionnaire or health screening to a child in kindergarten through the third grade. Now, I don't know what these questionnaires are all about or what health screening really means. I mean, are they going to ask kids questions about their lifestyle, about how they feel? What is it that they expect to do? I think that is beyond the reason for going to school to get an education. I don't think you're asking children questionnaires about their feelings and everything. You're there to teach. And if a child is having a problem in learning, then you send a note home to the parents. I don't get this business with questionnaires or health screenings. Do they still have school nurses? Then send the kid down to the school nurse if there's some reason. If the kid is acting up and seems to have some psychological problems, then you send a note to the parents. What is this business with questionnaires? I never got a questionnaire about how I felt being in a classroom. And I turned out okay, and my brother turned out okay, and everybody, my, my kids turned out okay. I don't know. This is ridiculous. They're carrying this thing far, far beyond the reach of what sane people would do. And all of it is aimed at the transgenders and the, what we'll call, the queers. In, and I think that's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. You are picking on people who are not, in your mind, acting like a normal human being. And that is a disgrace. And you've got a law that's bringing the parents into this entire thing. And most parents are not even qualified to deal with any of these things. What do you have a school psychologist for? And if you have a school psychologist and you want a child to see that, then you need parents' permission for that. I agree with that. But aside from that, questionnaires and other things are just plain, unadulterated bullshit. And then, of course, in this bill that allows parents to sue. Everything that we have going on in this country allows people to sue. Why are we so litigious? This is ridiculous. We're going to allow people to sue if they don't agree with what the school is doing. Right? Now, they could also request the Commission of Education to appoint a special magistrate to take care of this complaint. This has gone beyond the area of education. This is a form of insanity. It's running rampant in this country. So now we have politician meddling in education. And you know where that's going to lead. That's going to put this country in the crapper. And I've said enough for today. So I'll see you in the morning. Bye.